Hey there, I'm Laura Roeder. I'm here at the beautiful W Hotel in San Francisco. I'm here for the week and I wanted to record a video for you about one of the most common questions I get. How can I find someone to do my social media for me? Who can I hire? How do I find that person? I just want to outsource my social media, right? So a lot of small businesses want to know how to do that because it's hard to find the time, right, to do all the social media marketing yourself. Here's what I think about outsourcing your social media. Uh, this could be a controversial opinion, but I'm, of course, going to tell you what I think, what I think is best for your business and most effective. So you, as the owner of the business, do not have to do all of your social media work yourself, right? That may not be the best use of your time as you're growing your business, but... I would not suggest that you outsource your social media to a marketing company or to an assistant who like that's what they do is like they tweet for people or something like that. If you're going to hand it off to someone else, you should be handing it off to someone inside of your team. And that could be your customer service person, that could even be an intern that does social media marketing for you, maybe other sorts of communication tasks. It doesn't need to it doesn't mean that you need to hire a social media marketing specialist to work for you full time, but you do want someone inside of your own team. And the reason is social media is how you talk to your customers, right? When you're chatting with a customer on Twitter or Facebook, that's a really important, essential interaction, right? It's, it's to me, whenever you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a customer, that's one of the highest value, most important activities in your business. It's not something that you just want to sort of brush off to whoever. So the person who's representing you on social media needs to know a lot about your business. They need to know how to answer every question. They need to know uh, things that are coming up, what's happened, what's going to happen, right? Because people have questions about all these things. And if you hire someone just to tweet for you and someone says on Twitter, oh, what, what happened to that old blog post that you had six months ago and are you planning to do more on that topic? Like when they ask you a question about something that's going on inside your company, which people often do, how can some person who you've hired just to tweet for you who's not inside your company at all, how can they know how to answer those questions? And answering those questions are really important because that's the human interaction with your prospects and with your customers, right? So how to outsource your social media get someone on your team that has some extra time to talk to customers, but you need to view them as a customer person, not a technology person. This is another area where it gets sort of confused. People think, oh, I need to hire like a tech person that knows how to use Facebook. It's not about knowing how to use Facebook. You want someone who you trust to talk to your prospects, talk to your customers. So think of them as a customer service person, a communications person. Uh, them knowing Facebook is really not that important. You can get programs like mine to teach them Facebook, right? If you have someone on your team or hire someone who's good at communicating, it doesn't really matter if they've used Facebook before, right? Just put them through zero to Facebook. Well, now they know how to use Facebook. So focus less on the technology and more on the communication. That's how you outsource your social media marketing. That's how you get someone on your team to do your social media for you.